The YouTuber Sync on Luma recently created a video on the plugin they made for using Neutrino with Extreme Elite Boot Plus. I thought it was a great idea, so I created a version of it that works with the UDP2B protocol. To install it, you will need a slim PS2 or a fat one with the OEM network adapter, Ethernet cable, a USB flash drive, PC with a free Ethernet port or a USB Ethernet adapter, and a memory card with Freemic boot or PS2 BBL installed. The first step is to use Rufus to format your USB flash drive as non-bootable MBR and FAT32. Next we need to download Extreme Elite Boot Plus from the latest download on archive.org. Next we need to download the plugin from my GitHub. Once that's downloaded, you can extract it with 7-zip. We need 7-zip because this this is a password protected RAR file and the password is in the distribution license here. I'll copy it and then I'll extract the XCB folder into the flash drive that we just recently formatted. And then when it asks for the password, I'll just paste in from the distribution license. Next we need to go inside the UDP plugin folder and then extract that to the flash drive as well. Next this is optional but I'm going to go into the configuration and edit the settings config and notepad to change the default theme to X and B wave. Once that's done, I'll save and exit and then eject it. Next, I'm going to plug in the ethernet cable and then I'm going to go into settings and then set a manual IPv4 address. Now I'm using a direct connection where I use a single cable to connect the PC and PS2. While I'm here in the network settings, I'm also going to configure the computer to never go to sleep. So now I'm going to extract the sync app folder. We need to set up our folder for the games. So I'm going to make a folder named ps2 and then in that folder create a new folder named dvd and then put our game isos in there now we need to go into the free mcboot configuration and then we're going to create a new entry for extreme elite boot plus and now we can test it out and make sure that extreme elite boot plus is booting properly and also the plugin works as you can see it is waiting for a sync to be performed so let's go into launch elf and then here we're going to go into configuration and then network settings now now, since I'm using a direct connection with manually set IP address on the PC side, I can leave this as default. But if you want to use this in a router setup, here's where you need to change your IP addresses. So I need to go back to the main menu, then go into misc, then run ps2.net so the sync program can communicate with the PlayStation. So now back on the PC and then run the application. First, I'm going to choose where my game ISOs are. Then I'm going to connect to the PlayStation 2 and click sync. The artwork is optional of course and then once a sync has been completed we can click start server that'll start the udpbd vexfat server and then we can close the sync app but the vexfat server needs to stay running the entire time you're playing so now we can go back to the ps2 and then go back into extreme elite boot plus and then going into the plugin it will first cache the artwork that we downloaded and then it should display it nicely like this if you hit select you can see the different button binds for the plugin. I'm going to go ahead and start up Super Monkey Ball. And then this is what's going to show up on your PC. This is normal. And then now I can play. Now the only times you ever need a sync is if you add or remove games. Otherwise, the only thing you need to do to start playing is start the server, as a server always needs to be running while playing. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Thank you for watching.